Hello everyone. Um, this video might be a little different. Um, I t I've completely changed the way everything is set up, so unfortunately I don't have the most ideal conditions to do this. Um, I don't have my normal microphone. My camera I can't raise beyond this height. So please bear with me. I know it's not quite up to the quality level of the videos you've come to know and expect. Of course, if you've never seen any of my videos, just watch and enjoy. This is an Asus F J, no, I'm sorry, an F515JA-AH31, or just an F515J if you read the model number by itself. So, the reason I'm disassembling this computer, or at least just taking the standard back plate off held by, uh, what's that, 10 screws, is that the customer purchased this computer and did not realize that the solid state drive is only 128 gigabytes. This, of course, is a problem when you have 260 or so gigabytes of storage. So what I'm going to have to do is see if we can fit a hard drive size drive in this computer. <clears throat> now the problem is, I looked it up, uh, by the way, something to be aware of, these front screws are smaller than the back screws and the middle screws apparently. Um, I looked it up and it seems like there's not really this conflicting information. There appear to be hard drive cables available for purchase for this computer. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if the computer supports a hard drive at all, or if it does, if it will have a cable. I don't know if the SSD is M2. Um, if the SSD is M2, will it have no hard drive cable, which means I'm screwed? because I don't have M2 drives around here. I just don't keep them. I don't generally need them for customers. Uh, most customers need SATA for uh, upgrading old machines. So the worst part of this is this is basically new. I really, really don't want to pry at it just in case she tries to return it. Um, but it looks like we have a saving grace here. Do you see these USB ports? They're right up against the case. So, um, USB HDMI actually, so I can probably wedge this between the HDMI port, yeah, like that. Yep, we're getting it. And there's no marring on the case. This would be one of the limited instances where a plastic pry tool would be a little nicer, I think. But, um, frankly, every plastic pry tool I've ever used has been garbage. So I'm not super inclined to use plastic pry tools. If I can sneak my metal tool in there, I'll do that. Um, but I don't want to mar the case since it's brand spanking new. And the customer may end up having to return it um, and get another one very quickly, sadly. Um, because I've already set this thing up before realizing that the data was a problem. So here's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to put this here between the hinge and the base and see if I can pry there because that runs the lowest risk of damaging anything and it's not really working um, it's bending my soft metal pry tool so where can we insert this without worrying too much about damaging the computer oh a magnet in the computer picked up a screw another thing to watch out for looks like we also have ports on this side so unfortunately the customer decided to attach all their private login information to the top of the computer for me which helps me um, except when I'm making a video and they've got their junk slapped right there on top yeah this is it's gonna be hard to get in here without damaging something I mean uh, I got my fingernail in here actually let's see what we can do I got it. All right, I got it. I got a lead. Once you get it up here in the front, it looks like that's the end of that. Yeah, if you've got fingernails, um, and you can get in the front with a fingernail, get the pry tool in there and pop it, and then the rest is, well, history. All right, we're in. I shut it down. So, what's inside? Let's do a quick tour of this Asus, this brand new Asus, and see what we've got going on. There's your SSD, there's your hard drive bay, there's no hard drive cable, there's a spot for a hard drive cable, 
there's no actual cable so we are in a little bit of trouble as far as getting them upgraded i have to have m2 because i can't order that specialty part quickly enough it just occurred to me you may not be able to see because it's a little bit too bright in here let me drop that uh just a bit just a little bit there we go let's get a little zoom action yep so ssds down here uh, there's your Wi-Fi card, there's a hard drive connector, but no cable. And a hard drive area that you don't have a cable to go to. So, you're kind of stuck. But, the good news, well, good and bad, apparently. I don't see the RAM, so I can only assume it's soldered permanently to the bottom. So, if the RAM on this fails, you're, you're just toast. But you can upgrade it with more RAM based on the fact that there's an empty slot here for some DDR4. So upgradeability wise, we've got an SSD slot with a PCI Express SSD, a, um, we've got a Wi-Fi card slot, and if you can buy the cable from, I think there's a Vivo book as well that has this same cable, if you can buy a hard drive cable, you can put a hard drive in. Unfortunately, um, this SSD has to be upgraded, and I, I, the worst part is that they actually have a SATA SSD, but without the cable that goes to it, because manufacturers are so cheap, they won't throw a $3 cable assembly in there if, the, if there's no drive attached. Um, this customer is just up the creek. I may end up having to go out to a store like Best Buy and buy an SSD real fast. But that's the innards. Uh, batteries here. It's one of those things where you pull the metal tab back and it pops straight up. Um, very straightforward design. Very odd cooling system though. This this fan here blows across all this and out the heat sink vent. Um, this leads me to believe this is a very low power processor that's included in this computer if it only requires this for cooling this thing is not a performance machine although it doesn't have to be with an ssd like what it has there's a little metal reinforcement for the fan area i'm not i'm not entirely sure why that's there um, the thing actually feels pretty solidly built Anyway, I don't know what I'm going to do, but that's an Asus F515J. I don't know if it's a Vivo book or what, and my work phone's going crazy, so I've got to go. But I hope this has been helpful if you've got one of these and you're looking at upgrading or repairing or replacing anything inside. Have a wonderful day. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and if you have any money that you'd like to give to me, you can go to my website, jodybruchon.com, which uh, there should be a link in the description, and you can give me money either through a one-time donation or through a subscription on Subscribestar and similar. Have a good one.